in 2023, it's obvious to most people who ever just look outside that there is a real climate impact around us. We've um, experienced over the past years a change in climate. Um, we've seen floods, we've witnessed mudslides, um, we've witnessed um, sea level rise, and now more than ever, extreme heat and rising temperatures. And, and this is really posing a threat to human security, to food security, and um, to the environment. We basically have locked in more than 2.5 degrees of warming at the current level of CO2 emissions, and that's for impact within the next decades. And uh, well before 2050, we would have surpassed the two degree uh, Celsius increase um, that we're hoping to prevent. By the end of the century, I would predict that we would have reached four degrees Celsius increase in temperature. And beyond that, over millennia, we're looking at, uh, at the current level of CO2 and uh, other greenhouse gases up to 10 degrees Celsius. My name is Ye Tao, and I'm the founder of the organization MIR, which stands for Mirrors for Earth's Energy Rebalancing. So I established the organization when I was a, a PI at the Rollins Institute at Harvard. And uh, so the mission of MIR is to reverse uh, global warming, at least uh, to alleviate the impact of global warming by utilizing upcycling uh, plastic waste, aluminum cans, glasses, and to make them into solar reflectors to provide local cooling through local solar radiation management. My name is Eugenia Kagbo, and I am the Chief Heat Officer for Freetown, the first in Africa, and I um, work at the Freetown City Council. The main goal of this is to really raise the awareness around heat, but also ensuring that um, there, is a, there is a focal point within cities um, that is focused on building um, strategies and ensuring that those strategies are implemented and reflected in the lives of people. Most of the, the houses that are built in Freetown, when you look at the informal settlement, because these are low-income earning communities, most of the houses are built from corrugated iron sheets, so zinc. As we know, one of the, the quality of um, zinc is that it's absorbed and trapped the heat. My name is Kadi Matia. I have live with me, three picking there with me, man. Now have to live. So now have to the earth, the moon, and we. We don't get wind, we don't nothing. Now have to sleep. Like oven, no more like. They did inside, like oven. Oh, Akiwa, any two work you want for do. Like all the sun, warm soap, and do the door. Because of the earth. Pass through the day, I do, I can't do it, I do say them one, two. If the money we pass, we can put the fan on, go one sleep, but the fan self, the money we they go cold back. So I'm saying they can they back, the hot and back. In terms of health, also, um, even though there's a there's a gap there that we're trying to understand how this is really affecting health, but we know that there are health issues and there are health implications. Where next they come, be picking away and they sleep, all they sleep. Let's the hot, they soak all the sweat, all side they soak, the clothes. If they soak, pass a pull up, the hot. We pick it and they pull rash, they hit rash, then they come up, come up and the body. They rash them, then they come up, come up and they. Currently, the world is really confused about what to do with the global warming. So all the popular climate solutions are based on trying to encourage heat leaving by first uh, making an opening uh, by, you know, reducing the amount of CO2 or greenhouse gas that's preventing this leakage of heat. The other way to go about it is to reduce how much heat is generated in the first place. And that's been found to be the most efficient solution to tackle global warming. 
And the specific implementation we have is to do this reflection of sunlight away from Earth at the surface of the planet in such a way that we do not uh, deprive ecosystems of light. Well, right now, it's still the sun angle is pretty high and the flat surface will bounce most of the light vertically up. And that's the shortest path exiting Earth's atmosphere. Over here, we have several locally used corrugated metal roof materials. The first one is a rusty one that's been out there for a few years. Let's take a look at its temperature. It's at a 52 degrees Celsius. Let's go to a new panel that hasn't been uh, undergoing corrosion. This one is at 45 degrees, so quite a few degrees cooler. Uh, and over here, we have a highly reflective film coated onto the, uh, the panel and uh, it's reading 36 degrees Celsius. Uh, this fourth panel is very similar to this one, except we have coated the mirror film conformally over the shape of the panel to make it uh, more mechanically stable. So this one reads 38.9 degrees Celsius, so slightly uh, hotter than this flat uh, coating geometry. Overall, there's a 16 degree Celsius temperature difference between the mirror coated roof material and the rusty roof panel. So the science behind this technology is essentially light reflection on a very smooth mirror surface. Uh, so the goal of the larger program is to uh, reflect out as much of the solar light or photons as possible. And more and more we realize that it's probably the most effective and affordable and scalable solution out there that can also bring in local benefit because you can apply mirrors in many different areas including agriculture, hydrology, to reduce evaporation, reduce heat, and reduce uh, water consumption. Uh, when scaled globally, uh, a mitigation solution naturally emerges from this uh, adaptation need. So right now the systems we're using are based on upcycled PET thin film coated with uh, aluminum. And the aluminum could come from aluminum cans that are currently going to the landfills. And we have uh, about seven times more than what uh, the whole program needs in aluminum cans to fully cancel global warming. So uh, in terms of resources, we're not limited at all to skill this to uh, fully tackle the global warming crisis. And it's been an amazing journey just to see the, um, the efforts and the support that the MIA team has been providing to residents in Kube, but also to students, um, university students in, in Freetown. And this is, this is what I love about this project. It's not about um, them coming and doing um, what they want to do. It's been a true partnership. Um, we have worked on the, um, the concept together. We've planned um, events together. And they're also leaving behind um, skills and training for young people in Freetown, which is brilliant. Hi. Yeah, so it's collecting data now. As you can see, um, this is the 2 a.m., 2 uh, p.m. in the afternoon. The temperature was uh, above 63, so close to 65. And that was before the changing of the zinc. And now, after the changing of the zinc, this is 1 p.m. Now, look at it, it is down below 30. So, it has drastically reduced the amount of heat coming into the room. The first thing is that we have to sit inside. We have to sit and we have to sit down. Because we have to sit down. So it's better than force. Happy, 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 happy in the Lord. Same God, I'm born again. Trust me in this world. Why you don't know how happy I am? Happy, happy, happy in the Lord. <laughs>